Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, I feel like there's a message trying to come through, so let's go ahead and see what that is. If you have Gemini North Node, you may also resonate with this reading. All right, please give me a message for Gemini. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. Uh, I'm kind of looking back and forth or something, trying to make a decision, weighing the options, not sure what to do. They're saying go for it. They're saying go for it because I actually see you celebrating this decision. When you uh, listen to your, your heart, your passion, what you truly know you desire, um, and what's actually good for you. Um, that's what leads to the outcome that puts you in a better place. So a lot of you, there's something you're trying to see what's best to do. They're saying go for it, okay? All right, this feels like a battle. I guess it's not that easy to just go for it. Uh, this will move you energetically. So in the invisible realm, you will literally be picking yourself out of a, um, a place where you were more imprisoned and restricted, and you will be moved to a different location where you're more free once you do this. Once you do this. And I feel like this is a battle you've been fighting for a long time and only been dealing with empty victories. But I feel like now it's going to change if you do what you truly, truly know is best for you. Okay. Yeah, you guys are at a break of making a decision that's going to free you. The world is in your hand. Endless possibilities. This decision means a lot. It's bigger than you know, Gemini. So you're actually at a point in your life where you can change your path tremendously. And it's going to be better for you if you follow your heart. Okay, so um, I feel like something happening fast or you need to make a move fast or you need to communicate something. It's like once you communicate what you need to communicate, you'll see fast change in your life. Here, Gemini. This communication will change your life. Yep, it puts you in a new beginning. Wow, I love this. Wow, actually. Um, it's going to be better for you. You're going to feel more strong, more stable. Your life will be more structured. It'll have more a uh, sense of a security here. Some of you, if you're waiting on news about a home or a job offer or something, you're about to get the offer you wanted. There's about to be a decision made that actually is in alignment with where you're being led to move. It's going to make you more enthusiastic, more positive about life. There's a need to remove yourself from certain associations here. You've already learned what you needed to learn in whatever dynamic you're in. This, if this is home, if this is career, if this is whatever it is, I'm feeling like there's a fight. like a fight in the spiritual realm to remove you from a restriction to a more free energy. Or from a place where you felt more restricted into more now where you're more free. Okay. Alrighty. Six of cups. 
your your history, your past plays some kind of role here. Some of you may be stuck, like thinking about positive memories you've had with this situation. You may have been there for a long time, it's all you know. And you're holding on. Mm. Some of you are stuck, like thinking about the good times that you've had, how long you've been there. Some of you may be trying to reach a certain landmark, you know? Like you may have like three years left to go to make 20 years or something like that. So you're holding on. It's like holding on for uh, some kind of like illusion, some type of grandiose kind of event. I don't know. It's like stuck in memories. Keeps you stuck. It keeps you holding on. This is you holding on. Um, because you think a lot about the history you have there or with this person, if it's a person. I'm not really getting a person here, I'm gonna be honest, but it could be. All right, so. Hmm. It will mark the end of difficulties in your life. This is the end of a difficult situation. Just know that once you make the decision you're being called to make, things get better. That's what I'm getting. That's all I'm getting there. And okay, some of you still holding on. This is also letting you know not to give up on yourself. You've made it this far. You fought uh, a strong fight. You fought a good fight. You're good. Um, keep going. Don't give up on life. You know, this is not telling you things are going to get easy. This is not telling you from here on out. It's like smooth sailing. You may deal still with certain, you know, energies, but don't ever give up. Don't give up on yourself. You deserve better. They're trying to lead you to better. Gemini, y'all message is kind of like flowing through, almost like this is just something they need you to hear um, to move you into a better time. Okay, what's keeping you stuck is actually your um, fear. Some of you guys, this is uh, this is a lesson to get you to detach from unhealthy things. So this could be an addiction for some of you. You're being moved away, making a decision to remove yourself from something you're addicted to, something you feel attached to, something you feel like without it, you, you're not whole. Some of you, this is something you truly, truly identify with. So this is a lesson on codependency. They're trying to free you. This is hard about freedom, feeling like you can rejoice, you can celebrate, you can dance, you can have a good time. You're free. This lets me know a lot of you don't feel free. You feel attached to something. You feel chained to something. There's a, a fear. This is a 3D fear. So this could be a job. This could be a relationship. It's talking about you being codependent on something outside of you to make you feel whole to make you feel complete, to make you feel safe. All right, this is what you're healing, Gemini. There's something outside of you that you're attached to. They're trying to remove you from it. All right, that was fast and trying to make you more independent. All right, this is about you knowing your worth, knowing that you can make it on your own. Yep, that's just what this is. Two cards flipped, wow. And I don't know if I picked them up in reverse or not, but I'm going to read them how I'm getting the message. They're trying to get you to really, really take control of your life. New beginning where you're fulfilled. This is the third ace. Ace of wands, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. They're trying to give you a new beginning where you're more fulfilled, where you're more in control. Um... This could be the boss. So some of you, this could be someone who just has a lot of control over your life. So it could be work. They're trying to get you to be more in control of your life. So you need to be confident and um, do what you feel you're being called to do. I see 
I see you being more fulfilled if you take the path that you're being led to take and um, stop holding on so tight. Some of you, you, you're afraid you won't have enough money. I mean, which is a valid concern. The way I'm getting it is that things get better. You may feel like you're starting from the ground up. You got to rebuild. But I, I feel like you'll be in control. You'll be fine. You know, trying to weigh your options, trying to see what makes more sense. Some of you are holding on for the wrong reasons. I'm, and what I'm getting is like, oh, they've been good to me. They really uh, helped me with this. You know, you're, you're reminiscing. Remember this time when I went through this? It was this situation that helped me. It's like um, holding on to certain experiences within this thing, not realizing that this thing has kept you bound. When you look at the big picture, you're bound to something. And this is this will mark closure for you actually. And the closure is deeper than you think. It's not closure with whatever you're removing yourself from. It's closure internally. It's like on, on the big stage, spiritually, you know, in another realm, you were able to remove yourself from a prison, from a place where you were bound, where you were restricted. Now you just walked out and you're free. So this brings in more new opportunities. This brings in more new offers that you're passionate about. A lot of you, they're just trying to really give you a new beginning. That's all this is. They're just offering you a new beginning. And it's gonna take some guts to make this decision. And I feel like that's what's hard for some of you. So, um, I see you celebrating once you're able to free yourself. Gemini. Some of you guys, this is a relationship partner. They're just getting that. Surrender to the divine. They want you to just free yourself. Surrender to the divine. All righty. Because I, this is like bigger than what you think. I think some of y'all look at this just as um, what's happening here in this realm and not realizing there's more happening in other places for you. Trying to get you in alignment and this would actually be better for you. Gemini, this would actually be much better for you. What you're experiencing now, this would be better. All right message for communicate clearly there's something you need to communicate some of you guys this is going to require you to have to tell someone something um i'm not doing an extended so that's why i'm gonna just try to see what else is coming through that card went came out and went back there's a peaceful resolution some of you are afraid of this you're afraid that you won't get the resolution that you want they're saying it's a peaceful resolution. I'm going to put it back because it didn't come out. It went back. Anything else for Gemini? Okay. I have a card that flipped. It's telling you to choose a new direction. Choose a new direction. And then we have listen to your intuition. So your inner voice is guiding you. And I feel like a lot of you already know what you should do. Um, it's like you're fighting yourself here. Um, and you're afraid of the difficulties that come after you make the decision. And it's going to be, a, you know, sometimes where you might doubt the decision and you might find yourself holding on. They're saying, listen, surrender to the divine. Uh, what's what's next is actually much much better. That's that's what I keep getting for you. So you're gonna have to trust, Gemini. But that's your message. That's your message. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.